Dr. Squatch is still lying to us. Even after my video from three years ago where I exposed them for lying to us, they're still lying to us. Who could have predicted this? A corporation is still lying to us. It's actually me. I'm the perfect person to predict that because I've read Marx. <laughs> the T for the uninitiated viewer is that three years ago, I was a massive fan of Dr. Squatch and I had tons of bars of their soaps. But then I discovered that the advertised weight on the box was not matching up with the actual weight of my bars of soap. And so I did an entire video weighing every single bar of soap and finding that all of them were criminally underweight. <clears throat> it's been three years. I think it's fair to check back in. I think it's fair to go to the store, pick up some Dr. Squatch soaps and see if they're weighing better now, right? They're still a hugely popular brand. People need to know the truth. People need to know that they're getting a good quality product, don't they? Anyways, I went to Target and I bought three bars. I also was speaking to one of my friends and they still had some bars, so they loaned me these two. <laughs> shall we? Pardon the green chair. My cat likes to sit there. This is what we're looking at. We've got a net weight of five ounces. We've got the classic scale. We're going to be doing this box off. What are we going to hit? Oh, 4.9. You missed the mark, comrade. Oh, this is another one here. Let's see what they managed to get. Oh, 4.69. You're going down there, comrade. Fresh Falls, I've always thought was a good smelling one. Let's see how much this one weighs. Ooh, look at that. They actually made it to five ounces, 5.01 ounces on one of their bars of soap. Not bad. You're gonna find out that that's actually terrible the further into this video we get, but for now, let's, let's praise them, right? Five ounce, what do we got here? 4.83, bummer there, doctor. Darth Vader, what do you weigh? 4.48. Okay, we get it. Bottom line is, the more Dr. Squatch that you buy, the more you are losing out on ounces of soap. Does that make sense to you? That is the danger of being a Dr. Squatch fan. But I don't just have these random little soaps to weigh for you here today. I did not have a lot of faith in Dr. Squatch, and so I didn't feel like spending a lot of money on them. Instead, I thought, why don't I compare them to some other soap brands so that we can see what uh, some actual quality looks like, shall we? Have you heard of the black stuff? It's an Irish soap making company. You've got to check this out because these things smell so much better than Dr. Squatch. The smells are stronger and like you really feel like you're being immersed in Irish, whatchamacallit. Look, my last name was O'Neill for a bit, but I'm not really Irish. I'm like 25% Irish. I'm just a European mutt living in the US because of colonization. Anyways, 4.75 ounces. Wow, this is way more than 4.75. Five ounces on this one. Okay, let's check it out and see. This is the Celtic Tiger. Okay, they made it. They haven't been underweight yet. We got citrus cedarwood scrub, 4.75 ounces. Let's check it out. Okay, 5.15. You're getting extra soap there. Lastly, we've got black stout, 4.75 ounces. What do we got here? 4.76. They never missed a mark. Now let's weigh some soaps that are very near and dear to this channel. I've talked about them before more than once. It's Birds of Valhalla. We're gonna start with the Great Wolf. They say that the average weight is 4.5 ounces. Okay, and first of all, holy smokes, this is gorgeous. They're stamping them. 4.5 average, that's 5.96. Are you kidding me? Is it even a competition at this point? About 5.5 ounces. Once again, that's beautiful. 5.5 ounce average, and they just gave you six ounces right there. 4.5 ounces for Ragnar's Revenge. That's 5.68. Are you seeing this? Are you turning into a Dr. Squatch hater before my very eyes right now? Because you should be. This one's 5.5. 5.93, they are crushing it. 5.5 ounce average, six ounces, comrade. About five ounces on this one, let's see. That's 5.26. This is a quality bar of soap right here. And now folks, since I got you here and we are weighing soaps, I'm gonna weigh some of my Nablus soaps, which I got from Palestine. This is the land, 4.4 ounce average. Let's go, 4.73. This is the ostrich. Beautiful, over five ounces. Now this is a camel and I have had this thing for freaking months, for such a long time. 130 grams weight. Now, 
We all know that with these types of soaps, the longer that you don't use it, there's water weight that sheds and then it gets smaller. It does shrink. So like we saw weights go down with Dr. Squatch soaps over time when I tested it that way. But anyways, after months of having this and it is still <laughs> holding on, I rest my freaking case. So what's the takeaway from all this? Well, if you ask me, it's the fact that Dr. Squatch is still lying to us three years later. They're still producing poor quality products that aren't hitting the weights that they're promising. And this was a problem three years ago. And beyond that, it's just clear that we have better products out there that are hitting the right weights, giving you extra. In the case of Birds of Ahala, they're giving you way extra. That's insane. If you are somebody who has been using Dr. Squatch soap and you just found out through this video that Dr. Squatch has been shortchanging you on the weight of their soaps for three plus years now, I really do think that the black stuff is a good simple switch. The black stuff is giving you soaps that give you that masculine fragrance that Dr. Squatch has been selling, but the black stuff is gonna give you quality weight, a stronger, better smell, and it's coming from some guy in Ireland instead of a faceless corporation that's been shortchanging you on soap weight for the past three plus years. My personal favorite is gonna be Birds of Ahala. I think they have the most unique, most delicious scents. I love how transparent they are, putting the ingredients and everything right on the box. And I love how fat those bars of soap are. They cut those things thick. They are, I believe, the most determined to make sure that you get above and beyond what you are paying for. And I think that all that combined together just screams quality to me. So I'm always gonna vouch for Birds of Ahala if you're looking for a delicious smelling, massive, long lasting, great bar of soap. Of these three options, Dr. Squatch is the cheapest with I think $7 a bar on their website. The black stuff is like $8.75 a bar, which makes the black stuff a really simple transition for you. If you're just looking for something to replace place Dr. Squatch, but with a similar masculine vibe to it. And then Birds of Ahala is your goat if you're looking to experience the most incredible, delicious soap that you can possibly fathom. Obviously, a higher price point to buy your bars of soap might give you pause at the start. And so I do need you to consider that maybe the cheapest product on the market is not going to be the highest quality product on the market. I think it is fair to question the quality of the product that is the cheapest and has been selling you underweight products for three plus years. That's just me. As for those Nablus soaps that I showed you, which come from Palestine, those are unscented soaps. They are made with one ingredient. It's just olive oil. And when I say olive oil, I'm talking about that pure, legit olive oil that's coming right from the olive trees that are grown in Palestine. So that is some legit soap. It's made in this old traditional way. They've posted videos of how they make it. And I think it is so fascinating. And I think that is definitely something you should check out and learn about and see how they do that. It's a, it's a historic uh, kind of feel when you use one of those soaps. And so I value those soaps for very different reasons than what I value the good smelling soaps for, obviously. The good smelling soaps are a wonderful experience in their own right, but when I'm getting these Palestinian soaps, they are scentless, it's just a soapy smell, and it's really, really good for your skin. And that's why I go in for those. Like this is, it's just olive oil. And olive oil is freaking awesome, dude. I freaking love olive oil. Are you not guzzling olive oil? on a daily basis, comrade, because me neither, but olive oil is really good for you. And I really like that I can get a soap that's just made out of that. And I also just love the opportunity to support some Palestinian comrades out there while they are experiencing genocide, apartheid, colonialism, oppression. They need all the help they can get. Maybe buying some Palestinian soap is a way to help them. I just really like their soap. And so that's the situation. That's the update. I'm still a Dr. Squatch hater. I'm still in my hating Dr. Squatch era. I'm ready to fight. Bring it on. Come at me, bro. Make yourselves way more. Or don't. Just let us all switch to these other products who are vastly superior in every single way. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Go and watch my old soap videos. Apparently, there's actually a weird glitch on YouTube recently where if you leave a like and a comment, you're like super hot and sexy and cool. I don't know. So maybe just leave a comment and, and see if that is happening for you. I don't know, it probably is. Leave a comment and I'll let you know if you're sexy and hot and cool. Just leave a comment, I don't know. Thank you, I don't know. Where am I going, I don't know. That's probably enough.